Hello, I'm Dame Mercia Solutions and today we're going to look at um, Adobe Bridge running with a network file server and how we can make several optimizations and the benefits of that with multiple users connecting to the files. Um, we're going to do is look at um, when you need more resources on the machines, faster networks, faster disks. Um, and spoiler alert, you don't need any of this. You can actually create what they call a shared cache, um, which will give really fast performance. So if I jump into Bridge, what we want to basically show is uh, when we open a folder of pictures, we want to be able to come into the folder and instantly browse through the folder with the pictures here rendering, as opposed to when a user first opens a folder, so like this one, where it builds all the thumbnails. And again, to view them, there's delays while the previews are built which can make Bridge feel sort of unresponsive while it's carrying out this process. So as we can see here, this is obviously still running through. It's taken a little while um, to build this. So if we close Bridge for the moment, the mat, we add folders of two. So the first thing what I'm gonna do on this machine is create a local RAM drive and copy the files locally so we can eliminate network um, and disk speed issues on bridge and have a look at the performance there. So to do this I've got a uh, uh, software called IM Disk and we're going to create a 64 gig disk. I'll let this run through. Okay so we can see we've now got a RAM drive um, 64 gigabytes. Close this window. What I'm going to do is come in here. I'm just going to copy the files from here and place them onto the RAM drive. Um, as we see, we've got a one gigabyte connection to the NAS uh, where the files are located. So we're getting just over 100 megabytes a second throughput. So we'll let this complete. Okay, so we can see we've got all the files on the RAM disk. And just as an idea for performance, if I copy this slot, I'll just create a new folder demo and I'll just paste these in. We can see with the RAM disk these are copying uh, in a matter of seconds. So you can see there it's very quick. So let's open Bridge again. What we will now do on the computer here we will connect to the RAM drive and just as comparison we'll open the same folder on here. We see the previews or thumbnails were very quick. We're still generating the thumbnails or the um, high res previews, which does take a few seconds still, but it is more responsive. But again, you can see here, then with the mouse, it's still generating the uh, previews and still obviously using the processor to do this. So maybe this is a resource thing with the machine that we need more CPU power. So what I'm going to do is I've actually got a second uh, Windows 10 machine here. If we change over to this other machine, which I've connected with a remote desktop session, we can see on this machine, I've actually got 32 uh, processors allocated and again, 96 gigs of memory. So let's have a look on here. Um, if we go to uh, PC. Okay, so you can see I've already created a RAM disk on here already. And we've got uh, the same NAS located. What I'm going to do is just go back to the other machine here. I'm going to share the RAM drive out so I can bring the files over to here across the internal network, um, which is very quick. Um, so on here, I'm just going to now share this. Um, if we went to sharing and we'll share this out as picture server and we will just give everyone full control in this testing and then apply okay and close and back to the other machine so we should now be able to connect so we can now see we've got the drive picture server connected and I'm just going to copy all of these files from there 
to the local RAM disk on here. Again, we can see this is coming across the network. The speed here is not as fast, um, and the limitation here is actually Windows Explorer. So what we'll actually do, just from a demonstration point of view, once it's complete, we'll delete these files, and we'll launch a command prompt and actually just use RoboCopy, so we can do a multi-threaded copy. Um, so let's do that and get that ready. If I do a command prompt, okay, so if on the RAM drive, just to show the network performance, if we actually delete this, so the RAM drive is now empty, and we go to a command prompt, what we can actually use is RoboCopy with the mirror command, and copy from Y drive to the R drive with 64 threads. Now if we just turn off the no progress and no file um, listing, you'll see this will run through in a matter of a few seconds and actually mirror the data from uh, the source to the destination here. You can see the uh, process there took about 18 seconds. Uh, we're actually getting about 32 gigs a second. I'm just going to try that with slightly less threads. Um, Try this with just 32 files at the same time. Okay, so we can see that took about 11 seconds and we're transferring about 36 gigs a minute. So, pretty quick. Okay, let's go back to uh, Adobe Rich now on this machine with the 32 cores and open up the same RAM disk and have a look what performance is like. So, if we connect back here. Let's first of all go into the NAS drive and let's open up an existing folder on your docs too. Again, you can see the thumbnails reasonably quick, but we've still got the generation process. I'm just having to read the files and these are coming across the network, which again we've already established to the NAS is um, one gig, so about 100 megs a second. So let's um, click out of here. Now if we go over to the RAM disk and we'll open up the exact same folder and we'll just see how that performs. So again, we can see that's quite quick. Again, it's still generating the previews. Again, we've still got slight delays. Once we click through where the thumbnails are built. So what can we do about this? Well, there is a simple solution. Um, Adobe has what they call a uh, cache um, and we can manage a cache from this uh, tools menu and we can actually pre-build a cache for an entire network drive. So if I actually change over to the, uh, the original NAS drive here and what we will tell Adobe to do in the cache, manage cache and we will build the entire cache for this drive. We say okay and this will take a little while is it will read all the files from that NAS and actually write this cache back. So we'll come back when that's completed. Okay, so coming back, we can see the cache has been built and we've created the uh, thumbnails and previews on the NAS drive. I think probably the first thing we can do, if we go back over to the original machine, I'll close this one. And what we'll do on here, I'm gonna close bridge just change back to my computer. We'll close this. And the first thing we'll do is get rid of the RAM drive. Uh, yep. Okay, so, oh, so the RAM drive is gone. So we're back to the NAS. We'll just have a quick look here in the NAS. So you can see we've now got these hidden folders called dot bridge shared cache. And if we go into say here, we can see Bridge has created different size uh, previews and index information about all of the files. So let's uh, launch Bridge. What I'm going to do is hold down the Control and Shift key, and this will actually enable us to purge all the local cache files. So we can make sure none of this is already stored in Bridge. Now what we can do is go up to Bridge and in Tools here, Cache. If I go to the drive first, we can now go to tools, cache, manage cache, 
and we can import the cache from the uh, network drive. I'll just select the folder. What Bridge is now doing is copying all of the uh, thumbnails and previews locally. So they're now all imported. And what we'll see now, if we go back into the original folder in Dogs 2, you see this is pretty much instant. And again, we we'll browse through the uh, thumbnails and previews are all there instantly, locally. And again, we go into the other drive here. Same again. Now obviously this is a benefit for multiple users. Thank you for uh, watching to the end of the video. As you can see that uh, by creating a shared network cache, you can actually get incredible performance. Um, this can be really useful in a shared environment. Uh, if you've got lots of users accessing the same files or a library or an archive, where you could create this. Um, obviously this doesn't make any benefit to a standalone user. Um, if you found this useful, please uh, like and share the video. If you've got any thoughts, please comment below. Um, and feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll cover lots of uh, imagery stuff along with archiving and storage. Thank you.